guys, it's Jolene from Smith's Nature Friendly Farms. We're hanging out in the kitchen today and I'm making this fantastic recipe for fridge pickled red onions and they are so incredibly delicious. Okay, so I am so addicted to these pickled red onions. I make them all the time and typically have them in my fridge at every, any given moment. When I run out, I have to make more. And I'm super excited because I grow red onions in the garden, so it's typically a recipe that I get to use up the produce that I'm actually growing, so it's awesome for that. Most pickled red onion recipes don't have this little um, added ingredient in it that makes it extra special for me, and I'll show you that in the video. But let's go through the ingredients. Okay, so first ingredient is apple cider vinegar, we are going to use some kosher salt. We're going to use some, I'm going to use some blue agave sweetener. You can actually use regular sugar. You could use sugar, you know, uh, sweeteners, whatever you want. I don't want straight sugar, so I'm going to go with the blue agave sweetener in my case, but both regular sugar or agave will work. You're going to need a jar for this and you're going to need some red wine vinegar. And I'm going to show you that secret ingredient at the very end. Now, when I talk about this recipe being super easy, it really is. There is no cooking involved whatsoever. There is the chopping of one onion and then dumping everything together. So it is literally super simple. Okay, obviously very important in the recipe is the red onion. Now I've already cut up the red onion. I'm not gonna make you watch me cut up red onion. I'm going to assume you all know how to cut up red onion, but I will show you how I've cut it up. You do want it in, I prefer it to have it in bigger pieces because I'm gonna take it out of the jar and once it's all pickled, put it on a salad or I'm gonna put it on fish tacos. It's fantastic on fish tacos. You can put it on almost anything, but I'm really enjoying it right now on a salad with some feta cheese and some romaine lettuce. Super good. I don't need any salad dressing, just the pickled red onions and the feta cheese and it's a yummy salad. So let's put this together. Okay, so our first step, we are gonna start with our wet ingredients. So we're gonna start with our apple cider vinegar, which we've got one cup. Then we have our red wine vinegar. We have half a cup. And I will sweeten it at the very end. And we're gonna add one teaspoon of kosher salt. And now for the secret ingredient. Here we go. We have one eighth of a teaspoon of allspice. And this to me is what really makes this recipe so great. And I'm not gonna measure my sweetener. I don't want a lot and agave is a bit sweeter than regular sugar. So I just want just enough to sweeten the recipe a little bit. Give it a stir. Now stuff the jar with your onions. And generally it, it'll fit a medium onion. This wasn't a large, super large red onion. I've certainly seen bigger. Now you could absolutely, you know, double the recipe, put it in a bigger jar. We lost one to the floor. That always seems to happen. And I really want to pack it. Let's try to fit this whole onion in here. We did it. Pretty much the whole onion is in the jar. So take this guy now and put it in the fridge and it's ready to start eating within about two hours. It's good to go and it's storable for about a month. I've maybe gone over a little over a month, but usually I store it for about a month. Also add in a pinch of red pepper flakes. I typically don't like any heat in anything I eat. The cloves of that extra ingredient or allspice is enough for me, but if for any means that you want to add a little bit more kick to it, toss in a couple of uh, red pepper flakes as well. 
Awesome, so this is, this is the end product. You put this in the fridge and you will certainly be glad in a couple of hours that you did. You'll be enjoying these throughout the next week or so. A jar generally doesn't make it probably longer than two weeks for me. Now, I don't know what else you guys are using it for. I love your ideas. I certainly am not using this on enough things. My two favorite things is the fish tacos and the salad. But please, by all means, comment down below and tell me what else I should be using them on because I am definitely not using these enough because I love them. Awesome. Well, that's it, you guys. Hopefully that is a super easy recipe for you. And it for Cole's notes, I'll put it down in the comments below so that if I missed an item or something like that, it's down there and it's all there for you. Awesome, you guys. Well, be friendly, be kind.